everyone, my name is Matthias. In today's video, I will show you a quick trick what uh, you can use to add some colors to the original basic chord is what I'm sure that you know. Okay, the first chord will be a G major chord. What we're gonna use after a C major. The third chord will be a D major chord. I love this shape with the open G. And uh, the next chord gonna be an E minor chord and A minor chord. These are the five chords what we're gonna use for today's lesson. Okay, let's start with the first chord. So G major chord, what I'm doing here is pluck the whole chord except the A string. So low E string D, G and B string, but on the B string, I will add a note, which is a C note. I will pull off that note. This is the trick. So what we're gonna do today is do a pull off each time using the scale notes and the open strings. This is how the first part sounds like. After I pulled, after I pulled off uh, the C note, after I pluck the G and the D string and the bass again. The next part will be another added note, uh, which will be an A note, second fret on the G string. So, pluck the A note on the G string, pull of and come back to the root. So after you pulled off the G string, you have to pluck the D and the low E string as well. So from the top, it sounds like this. The next thing what we're gonna do is add one more note, which will be the second fret on the D string, which is an E note. And do the same thing, pluck the E note, pull off, after pluck the bass. So from the top. Bass and the D open string again. why I love so much this technique is that you can use it with every chord but the only thing what you have to concentrate is the open strings have to sound good with the chords so this is why I'm using the G major chord because the open strings will be fine and with the C major the next chord will be the C major we will do the same left hand pattern so pluck the C note on the B string, pull it down and come back to the root. After pluck the A note, pull it up, D string and the bass. After the second fret on the D string, pull it up, pick the bass and pick the open D string again. So this is the same pattern what I played with the G chord. Let's check it out. With the next chord will be the same fingering with the D. same thing with the E minor A minor G the 
the other thing what I usually do to make a song or any kinds of arrangement a little bit different than the others is, the, is put a capo everywhere and the key will be different and this is why the sound will be different. So I will play the same chords, the same left hand pattern, but you will hear that it sounds different. <laughs> video for today. I hope you found this useful and I'm looking forward to see your content as well using the same technique because I think it's easy but it adds so much color to our basic chord progression. So if you have any questions about the chords, about the strumming pattern, just leave a comment below. If you are new to our channel, click here to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.